Okay, this video it is about uh, how to speed up your computer by removing spyware, malware, and temp files, and uh, there's my information. Okay, let's get started here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to um, download.com, which is where you get the software to do this, most of the software anyway. Uh, and the first one we'll get is called Adware, and the latest version is Adware 2007. So we will get the latest version. Some people like Adware SE, uh, which is the previous version, Adware Personal SE, and you can still get that as well. Um, just do a search on Google for Adware SE, and because uh, that allows you to uh, basically check, you know, it's, uh, select a certain certain uh, drives that you want to uh, scan, hard drives. Okay, so we will download it to the desktop. I'm going to show you how to install it because not many people have. Well, many people know how to install it, many don't. So it's it's good to show everything. Okay, so it's downloading here, and while it's downloading, I'll just uh, multitask here, and I'll do another one, and it's called SpyBot. It's called SpyBot Search and Destroy. The latest version is 1.5, and we'll download that as well. And there's a file. I'm actually using Firefox to do this, so in case you guys are wondering what's popping up, and if it's not looking like it looks for you for Internet Explorer, that's why. Firefox, I believe, is a, that's another way to speed up your computer is to use Firefox. Um, you can get that by going to getfirefox.com. Uh, and it's just a quicker browser. Uh, it also avoids, um, you know, all the people that have spyware, malware, and, and uh, hijack, they hijack your browser. So, it's, you know, when you open it up, it forces you to go to a certain website. Uh, that all is targeted towards uh, Internet Explorer because you know, majority of people use Internet Explorer. So I would uh, suggest going to Firefox. And here's, uh, so you just go to Firefox, well, you type in getfirefox.com and it brings you to mozilla.com. Um, and so you click download, download now, and, uh, and get Firefox, but that's for, uh, I'll do that later. Okay, so let's get back to our uh, software here. It looks like we're almost done. So while we're doing that, we'll go back and get one more, well, let's just, one more thing, download.com, and we will get Spyware Blaster. And these are three programs that are really good to use uh, for getting rid of all the, the garbage on your computer that's that's put on your computer. Just so you know, uh, the reason, the way you get spyware programs and malware and you know viruses, and that's another topic as well. Um, but the way you get those is pretty much when you go to porn sites or adult sites or casino sites. Those are the two main ones uh, that have all the spyware and malware. Other other things are, let's say, uh, not so much, not so popular websites that have, uh, let's say, screensavers or games, fun games. A lot of times they'll throw spyware in there. Also, the peer-to-peer -peer programs. Some of those have a lot of spyware and malware because that's how they make their money. So uh, those are the things that you want to be wary of and try to stay away from. Um, and with regards to viruses, of course, you get those by, you can also get those from websites and you can also get those from emails. And also, if you, you know, have a CD that someone else burned for you, uh, you could also get it from them because they may have had a virus. And, uh, or, you know, so a burned CD or, you know, programs that you've gotten from other people. So, but unless they're professional. If they're professionally done, you know, if they come from the manufacturer, then don't worry about it. Okay, first one we're going to install is Adaware. So we will click on open. You can also go over here and click on this is the, the file I'll download. Double click on that and we'll open it as well. So we'll get it. This is part of Firefox. We'll download that. Minimize that. So English, of course. Uh, click OK and it'll just install. And I'll click next. I accept next. Anyone, that's fine. Standard installation is fine. The, lo the default location is fine where it's going to install, and it'll install Adaware. And uh, this is hugely popular. I mean, if you look at the d amount of downloads, I think it's something like 245 million downloads or something like that, something crazy. Um, but it's, it's very popular, and it does very, very good job. And uh, we're just finishing up with the installation right now. So we have this, again, three programs we're gonna, well, four programs, Adaware, SpyBot, Spyware Blaster, and CCleaner. Some people call it CC Cleaner, but it's actually CCleaner. Okay, uh, we'll use free. You can also register and get the pro version, and what that allows you to do is uh, 
you can it automatically updates on, on its own and also real-time protection in other words it's always running in the background and it's always protecting you just like an antivirus and they can run simultaneously you can run Adaware and uh, a virus protection program simultaneously that's not a problem it's only when you have two antivirus programs you cannot have those installed on the same computer they will conflict and they could potentially hurt your hard drive hurt your system okay we're gonna click use free because that's uh, pretty much all we need uh, majority of people are choose that option anyway click finish and uh, so then over here you can see it installed uh, ad watch which is the pro version we're not going to be using that and then we have ad aware which is 2007 and now it's going to be uh, it's going to be running it's going to open up and uh, we'll check it out so as you can see here you can see here the definition status you always want to look at that the last update was 121 and today is February 3rd just after the Super Bowl and so we're going to update because we know that it definitely has some updates it always it, it updates pretty pretty frequently so what it'll do is it'll get information about the updates now it says the definitions file is outdated there's a new definitions file would you like to update so we click yes and then sometimes it'll ask it'll say the program has some updates as well and you click yes for that but if not then uh, just let it install the updates so the thing about this is there's no progress bar so you kind of have to wait <clears throat> for it to do its thing um, without knowing that it's running in the background but it will eventually come up and say complete like this so we click OK so now it's done and uh, well it's done updating so now you see 2-3 for the date so now we click scan now and just do full scan some do, some do smart scan some do full full is you know you do everything so you click scan and it's going to be scanning it says section progress which is the, what it's working on now and then overall scan progress and this can last up to uh, it can last half an hour 45 minutes could last 20 minutes it really really depends on how large your system is how much data it has to go through and uh, how how much stuff it has to uh, to look at uh, in other words how much spyware you have in your computer how much it has to index so what I'm gonna do right now is uh, I'm going to stop this video so I don't want you to have to just sit and wait because it's going to take forever. So I'll just uh, run this and I'll get back to you when. Uh... Okay, we're back. Uh, it said, you know, it took like, a, as you can see, a total, uh, total scan time 32 minutes, uh, total items detected 28. Um, the scanning time, that was uh, not accurate. Well, I stopped at midstream because it was taking too long. So <laughs> I, uh, because I want to get done with this video. So it still came up with some stuff, but they're just privacy objects. They're just pretty much cookies. Uh, some are good, some are bad. Um, so it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't. It, it's just best to get rid of them. Um, the critical objects are the ones they want to worry about. I didn't really have any because I keep my computer clean. But uh, it would be, you know, you do the same thing. Like if you had a lot of critical objects, then you want to uh, make sure this is checked. You just right click and select all objects. Make sure they're all checked. And you do that here. Um, you also want to do that everywhere else. Not so much in the log file, just in the privacy objects and then the critical objects. And if you have a lot, if you have like a thousand or twelve hundred, and your computer's like really slow and really really bad, um, you might want to consider just uh, backing up your data. You know, you would back it up on an external hard drive or back it up on a CD if your if your computer's even able to go that fast to burn a CD. Um, but I would highly suggest considering. Uh, basically formatting your hard drive, you know, back up your data, format your hard drive, and then put your data back on. But don't forget, if you have Outlook, you got to get your uh, PSD file for your email and all that. So you want to make sure that you get all the data files for all the, if you are backing up your computer, but that's a whole different subject. But anyway, uh, so anyway, you want to you want to make sure that it's a reasonable amount that you that it can handle. And, well, not that it can handle, but that, you know, because some get it really, really deep and it's, you know, it, it doesn't really get rid of all of it. Uh, but anyway, so 28 is, you know, it's, it's not really much, especially since there's no critical objects, it's pretty much nothing. But we're going to check that anyway. Um, and so what it does is uh, you can just say, you know, quarantine or remove. Um, it's up to you what you want to do. Quarantine means it isolates it and puts it where it won't hurt your computer at all. Uh, remove, it just removes it. Uh, and then for privacy, it's, you know, remove or add to ignore. I'll just remove it just for the heck of it. So we click remove, um, and then it removes it. Now it's at zero. So uh, we're ready to go. And then all you do is you click finish. And remember, if you like the video, go ahead and click on subscribe to support the site. And also, don't forget to rate the video. Even if it's a three or four, it still helps. So thanks, and thanks for watching how to speed up your computer by moving spyware part one. And all you have to do is click on the link below to watch part two.